Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be explaining another type of mass airflow sensor. So if you haven't already watched my video on the Hotwire mass airflow sensor, I would recommend watching that first. That's a little bit later technology than this. This is a bit older. Um, I don't believe this is used much anymore. But anyways, mass airflow sensor vane type. So the difference with this is it's actually a, more of a mechanical system rather than the hot wire. Uh, and I'll explain why that's a disadvantage and why it was phased out. So what's happening is, as you open up your throttle, this is going to be uh, right behind your air filter. So it's going to be ahead of the throttle body in the order of operations here. So as you open up the throttle, which will be downstream, more air will come in, and as that air comes in, it's going to push on this flap and open it up. So if you can't really visualize this, just think of like a box with a flap in it, and as the air goes in, it pushes that flap up. So as that flap moves up, this flap is connected to a position sensor. So that position sensor is a potentiometer which changes its resistance uh, while this flap opens. So with a different position. So since you have a different resistance, What's, what the ECU is going to do with that is going to see, okay, the flap moved and it altered the resistance. So it's going to take that altered resistance and turn that into a voltage reading. And using a voltage reading, it can then determine, okay, this is how much air is coming in. I need to inject this much fuel. Now there's a small problem that if you just uh, base it on this, cold air has more oxygen in it. It's denser than hot air. So another thing you have to add on to this is an air temperature sensor. So the ECU can use this in combination with the voltage change to know the right amount of air to put into the engine. Or I'm sorry, fuel to put into the engine um, to have a good ratio of air and fuel. Now, as a check, you've got the O2 sensor which is in the exhaust and so that will back up the ECU's reading and make sure, okay, there is, an, an, there is too much oxygen or it's burning lean or uh, burning rich. So that'll be the check and I can explain an O2 sensor in a future video. Now, why would this mass airflow sensor not be uh, a good idea to use? Well, there's a big disadvantage of it and the fact that it's a mechanical system, accelerated, acceleration forces affect uh, this flap. So, say this is oriented so that the front of your car is here and the back of your car is here. Well, if you slam on the brakes, this flap is going to want to rotate up. Now, when that flap rotates up, your ECU is thinking, okay, there's more air going into the engine when really you're braking, so then it'll inject more fuel. You don't want that to happen. Also, gravity is going to affect this, so there's always going to be gravity pulling down on this flap. Now, of course, you're going to calibrate it to make up for that, but think about it when you're on a banked uh, curve. I mean, gravity is going to be slightly less in the direction that you calibrated it for. So it, it can affect the readings, um, and that's why this has been phased out, really. One thing I didn't mention, this dampening flap. So what this does is you've got this little chamber in here, and there's a small gap between this flap and this wall here. So as this flap rotates, you've got air in here, and that air is going to be squeezed, and it's going to want to come out of this small flap. So basically what it does is it slows down the movement of the flap, so it doesn't just kind of sit there and go real quickly. Instead, it's going to be a more smoother motion because it's going to have this regulating how fast it can move. So that's the damping flap. And that's a vane type mass airflow sensor. I'm going to show you real quick where this will be located on my car. So just like the hot wire type mass airflow sensor, um, a vane type mass airflow sensor would also be located directly behind the air filter. So it'd be right here on this vehicle if it were to have that as a feature to measure airflow.